you want your, 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 your children to grow up and leave the nest. But at the same time, when that, when that day comes, that, that's a really hard of, uh, that's a. Sorry. So my son moving in. Moving in his dorm. I am from Pottstown, Pennsylvania. It's one of those towns where everyone knows everyone. Coming to BU where no one really knows who you are and that whole background was kind of scary. He's got a favorite pillow that's kind of torn and tattered. I try to get rid of it, but it's there. It's, it's a security blanket. You know, like that dude on Peanuts? Yeah. To carry the little blanket was <laughs> enough, enough. I had moved in. My parents had left. I really wanted to start feeling a part of some kind of community. So I decided to audition for the Dear Abbeys. That's when it really dawned on me. This is the right place for my son. When I joined the group, I instantly had 10, 11 new brothers and coming into it, I had no idea how much I would change. I kind of felt myself opening up more. Just knowing that he had a group of friends and he did what he liked to do and he was excelling at it, it, it comforted me. Looking back on my four years with the Dear Abbeys, what kind of remains the same is that we create a space for everyone to feel at ease with being themselves in the group. I think I'm always going to hold on to the dream of being a rock star. <laughs> I remember when the Dear Abbeys performed, and I look back and seeing him, the look on his face, because he, he grew up singing since he was a little kid singing in church. And everybody said, oh, look at the little kid singing and singing to my neighbor out in the backyard. He loved to sing. The little memories of him being a little child and growing up, and it, it's, you wish you could just pick him up in your arms again and hold him. And I mean, Sunday, he's, that's it. We, we, you know, we part. He goes off to, you know, adulthood, manhood, and, and we go back home and we leave him. It's really weird, actually. In the past, you always know what what is next. You have another semester, you have another year of school, you have these requirements to meet. But now it's kind of just up in the air. Anything can happen or nothing could happen. <laughs> it's reassuring to know that if all else fails, I can still rely on my family back home, the friends and colleagues that I've met here at Boston University. That's a pretty good uh starting like tool kit that BU gave him. And if he opens up that kit and uses the tools that are in there and that were given to him, he's gonna be a successful guy. <laughs> he'll be all right. He's gonna be okay. Yeah, yeah, he is.